Mobile Home Diva and in today's video I thought I would turn on the camera and share with you um, a little ongoing project that my husband and I have. It's a personal project and as you can see from the title of, of the video it's about keeping our survival kits up to date. So I thought I'd turn on the camera and share with you our process of how we ensure that um, we have what we could possibly need in our survival kits. Just to give you a little history about why we have these, um, we've been directed by our congregation to be prepared for any sort of disaster or anything that would um, cause us to be displaced from our homes. And it just makes perfect sense because in the world that we live in with the all of the things that are going on, the pandemic, uh, the riots, and all of those other things. And, and I don't want to get into a discussion about that. But all the, if you turn on the news, you know that there is so much going on in the world today that we don't know what's going to happen from one day to the next. So my husband and I feel it's important to follow the congregation's direction and make sure that we have our survival kits ready to go at any moment. And so I just wanted to turn on the camera and share with you what we have in ours. Um, they're already together, but I ordered my husband a new bag. He ordered one and liked it and he gave it to me. So I ordered um, one just like it for him. So I'm gonna be transferring his stuff to his new uh, bag and just gonna go through it and show you what we have. So. If you like this kind of video and you're interested in seeing how we put our survival kits together, what we feel is important to put in them and where we keep them, stay tuned. Okay, first things first, I'm going to share with you the features of the bag. So this is the bag that we've decided to go with, but originally we had these small book bags or smaller book bags with lots of pockets in them, lots of pockets on the inside. It actually came inside of a survival kit that I ordered from Amazon. I'm going to put the link to both of the bags down in the description box. The survival kit bag actually came with a bunch of stuff and I'm going to go through that stuff today to show you what we have. But then we decided that while we appreciate all the stuff on the inside, we needed more room in our bag and so that's why we ordered this one. So I'm going to sit these to the side. That's my husband's bag and this is my bag. And I'm going to show you all of the features of the bag before we get into what's inside. So this is the bag that I ordered from my husband. This is the new bag that just came. It's called the Luwoko Hiking Backpack. It's a 50 liter travel camping backpack with rain cover. So this pocket up here, actually, if you unzip it, which I'm not going to unzip it because my fear is I don't know how to get it back in. But you have a lot of features in the bag, right? And one of the features is inside of this portion, if you unzip it, there's a zipper right here. And if you unzip it, it has a rain cover that covers, I'm assuming it covers the bag to keep the bag protected. Um, it has eight adjustable straps to tie up your pack or for hanging a sleeping bag, a hammock, a tripod, or other gear on it. Um, it's good for anyone size 90 to 250 pounds, and it has enough room for three to four days worth of trip. So that's what um, the information says about it. It's really comfortable, it's breathable, it's made with mesh, it's waterproof, um, and it has lots of pockets and places to put items. You have a pocket here. You have a cover here. This is the bottom of the bag. So when you start putting the items in it, you'll see how that levels out and becomes the very bottom of the bag. I just like this bag, you guys. It has a lot of zippers. On the inside, it has a lot of space to put different items. I love the fact that not only does not only does it have the straps that go around over your shoulders, but it also has this part that goes around your waist. 
Now, you might be thinking, well, what in the world do they think is going on? We don't know what might happen. We don't know why we may have to leave our home. It could be some sort of um, emergency in our area and we can't get back to our homes and we'll have everything we need in our bags. And so let's, let me show you what's inside the bag and why it just makes sense. At least why we feel it makes sense for our family. So, got a Bible uh, for the survival kit. This is the Prepare for Life Emergency Prepare Guide. It came in the survival kit that we purchased. In this pouch, I have, this is a washcloth. Um, you got a small soap razor blade, lotion, a sanitary napkin, and a comb. This came in the survival kit. And I think this might be shampoo and conditioner in these pouches. So that came in the survival kit. I also have a small bag of sanitary napkins, a 10 pack that I got from Dollar Tree. I have a roll of tissue. This came from in the survival kit. I don't really care for this tissue. I'm going to go get my uh, roll of my own and put one in mine and one in my husband's. This bag came in the survival kit. This is a, it's like a water filtration, water purification kit. Um, not sure how to use it. I left the directions in the bag, but this came in the survival kit. Also in the survival kit, you got an emergency sleeping bag, some hand warmers, a deck of cards, some scissors. This is a, I think this is a concho. Let's see what this is. Yep, an emergency poncho. You got a radio, AM, FM radio that came in the survival kit. And my husband and I each have two K95 or N95 masks. We got this one. And then we also have one like this. Okay. And this we added. It did not come in the survival kit. We actually added that in into our bag. These food rations, I have no idea what they are, but I left them because you just never know. Came in the survival kit. These gloves came. Okay, what is this? This is a five-in-one survival whistle. This is... Oh, you break it and it gives off a glare, a light stick. What is this? Oh, this came in the survival kit. It is a pocket knife. It has all kind of little things. I think you can open can, open wine, just all kind of little uses for this knife that came in the survival kit. Here are is some more hand warmers and then several pouches of emergency purified drinking water. So 4.2 fluid ounces in each pouch. So um, you have several pouches and I believe I split those pouches between my bag and his bag. I'm gonna show you what's in his bag in a minute. Put all of this stuff back. Okay. So in this bag, we no normally use Dove soap, but this is antibacterial Dove. So we got two bars of soap, a trial size uh toothpaste another trial size toothpaste and a toothbrush hand sanitizer deodorant 
two pair of underwear. I brought a pack and I just didn't open those. I put them in there. And then a three pack of socks. I have my bariatric vitamins. These have never been opened. I got them just for the survival kit. Um, they don't expire until May 2023. And then I have a pack of my bariatric calcium. I have to take three a day of these. And these expire. Oh, I need to trade these out because these expired. These expired this month. So I'm going to use these. And when the new ones come, I'm going to put a pack in the bag. So I'm going to take those out and go ahead and use it. Now we also have money. This is $50. It's uh, $25 in ones and $25 in fives. So we want small money. And then this is, I think, $20 in change. So this is all in the survival kit. Here is a flashlight that has batteries in it. And I think my husband's bag has extra batteries, but this is a this is a little flashlight. So that's my bag. Okay, this is my husband's bag, you guys. So in his bag, he also has um, the purified water and emergency poncho. Um, sleeping bags and uh, that's the uh, purified water so he also has a bag with those items he has his own package of uh, food rations some Vaseline some immer some uh, masking tape he has an emergency tent it's called a tube tent this is another light stick that's in this pouch. Okay. In this bag, he has a flashlight, some AAA batteries, some AA batteries. I don't know what this is. Oh, this is a little light. <laughs> Can you see it? It's a little light. I think it came in the survival kit. And he has a pack of lighters in case we have to build a fire. And that's it for this bag. In this bag, he has a Bible. And he also has two Bible, um, Bible study teaching aids. He has... I probably need to put put the same in mind. He has a reasoning from the scriptures book, which is a book that we use to help us understand the scriptures, as well as a Bible study aid. Uh, aid and this is actually outdated. This is how long we've been uh, doing these kits. This is a what does the Bible really teach? We don't use that anymore, so I'm going to trade this out. We use what can the Bible teach us? So see the difference in the books so this one is outdated I'm gonna take this out and put his two books back in here with his Bible like he had them and I also grabbed two for me of oh, reasoning from the scriptures and the what can the bible teach us so i'm going to put that in my bag all right he has some rope i don't want to open it but that's rope he has two pair of boxers this bag has a full-size toothpaste toothbrush a pair of reading glasses that he purchased i actually got two toothbrushes in there must be one for me. He got some packs of socks in there. And those are his two masks. The K95 and the other mask that I showed you. He has, this is a, it covers your head and your face. It's not a mask thing, but he used to use it at work when he worked in a freezer. So he has that in there. 
he has two other flashlights. No batteries in them. Not in that one anyway. In this bag is his money. And I'm going to leave this out also. He also has 25 ones and 25 hours and five. And then in this little pouch, he has two bars of Lever 2000 soap and uh, looks like about 10 razor blades. The brother got to stay shaved up. <laughs> and that's, oh. And he has a first aid kit. So it has scissors, tweezers, hand wash cleaning wipes, gauze, Q-tip thingies, all kind of stuff. And this came in the survival kit. So let's go ahead and put this in his, put his stuff in his bag. And then I'll show you what else we feel is important to keep in our bag. everything I thought but I made a stack of each one of the papers that I thought was important both of our birth certificates both uh, our marriage certificates our um, marriage certificates both birth certificates a copy of both security social security cards a copy of all our insurance beneficiary information um a copy of each one of the titles to our cars we don't have any car payments every car we own is paid for we have a co copy of every title and our 2020 tax returns and we i thought that those were important because if we get displaced um then we can show proof that this is our home if we need to get to it so what you do is the safe bag has Velcro. So you open that Velcro, unzip it, stick your papers down in there. I'm also going to stick ca the cash and the coins in there. And I'm going to do the same. For my husband. Okay. Remember it. Stick his cash down in there. And then all you have to do is zip it. Close it up with the Velcro. Zip it. Close it up with the Velcro. Okay, I forgot some paperwork, so I had to go and make copies of that. I thought about the beneficiary paperwork from my insurance, for my uh, a copy for me and my husband. 
a copy of my passport. That color came out so pretty. My passport. This is my passport in this purple pouch. And so I made color copies of my passport. And then our congregation sent out COVID-19 safety rules for your household. So I got one for each one of our bags. So I'm gonna add that paper work to our safe bags. Again, this is always gonna be ongoing because you'll think of stuff that you wanna put. I still gotta go find my birth certificate and make copies of that, but for the sake of the video, I want to go ahead and show you what we do with them. And so all you gotta do, and there you go. Both of our survival kits. Now, here's where I think you should leave it, you guys. You can either leave these by your front door or your back door if you choose. But my husband and I decided that we're going to keep one in each one of our cars. So mine will go in my car, his will go in his car. That way, if something happens and one of us is away from the other, we'll still have our survival kits. I think it's an excellent idea for any family. If this is something you're interested in, I put all of the links to everything that I purchase the survival kit, the safe bags, these additional bags, all down in the description box, okay? I hope you enjoyed my video and that this idea helps out your family. Have a good day. Talk to you soon.